We specifically mounted our A1 Pros so we would not have any more than seven inches cantilevered out beyond the clip. So we want to measure to make sure that's good. And that's where we want to be. Now these clips have a notch at the bottom of them that fits into the rail. So what we want to do is we want to pop our rail under these clamps. And we can tighten these down. With that secure, we're ready to mount the next rail. We want to make a diagonal measurement from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. And then we want to do the same thing on the lower left to the upper right. And it's critical that these measurements match so the collector sits perfectly square on the racking. Before we lift this collector on the roof, we're going to install a handle, which makes it easier to pick this thing up. It goes in a little track. There's a little solid block that goes against the edge of the collector. And we tighten it down. And then we can lift the collector. Now we're going to hang this collector on the racking. Now that we've got the bottom part of the collector clamped, we can take the handle off. And we can tighten the top clamp on the collector. We have our first collector mounted with the plumbing facing this way. We've got our second set of rails. And we're going to take the second collector and set it on the rails. Now that it's on the rails, we're going to set our clamps but not tighten them because we're going to want to move this collector in and out to fit the plumbing.